The Redmi lineup has been one of the most sought after budget smartphone for years now. But with competition heating up in segments, Xiaomi needs to set up its game to stay relevant. The Redmi Note 8 Pro is an attempt to do that and has a lot of offer for the price, delivering new hardware and a set of much needed features. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone has 6.53 inches IPS LCD capacitive type display with 84.9% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. You can adjust the display to make it cooler or warmer and there is also a cooler wheel for the adjustments according to the needs of the user. This smartphone has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on the 4 side 3D card back. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 395 ppi. Redmi Note 8 Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio G90T processor and comes with a dedicated cooling mechanism and turbo mode for gaming that packed with 6GB and 8GB of RAM. Xiaomi claimed the Helio G90T chipset has resolved the heating issues. In fact, a recent teardown relieved that the Redmi Note 8 Pro has an outclass heating management system. That good news for mid-range gamers. The Note 8 Pro has a liquid cooler vapor chamber for heating the space and notice the chassis getting warm to the notch. Combine this with a hyper engine game which switch to a combination of Wi-Fi and cellular data if your Wi-Fi signal gets peak optimization. In game testing, the Note 8 Pro slightly outperformed the Redmi K20, which runs a Snapdragon 730 mobile platform. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 26mm wide 64MP main shooter with 1.90 aperture. Redmi Note 8 Pro is one of the first devices to incorporate the brand new 64MP sensor from Samsung with native pixel binding technology. We are expecting good low light performance and competent night mode to complement the overall camera performance. Video recording goes up to 4K 30 frames per second or 1080 pixel 60 frames per second with the main rear camera. And you can also get up 960 frames per second as 720 pixel for super slow motion clips. And the super slow motion of Redmi Note 8 Pro is excellent within this range of smartphone. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.2 aperture. And third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture. And fourth one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. Macro camera lens can focus from as close as 4 cm away. The distance you can shoot in macro mode will always differ from the actual distance of your smartphone. On the front, this smartphone has 20 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Oxygen OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi and that is updatable to Android 10 and packed with 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage. That can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone is powered by 4500 mAh battery with 18W fast battery charging support. Y9 S smartphone has 6.59 inch Super AMOLED display with 84.7 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It has a fingerprint sensor on the side of panel with an image density of 391 ppi. This smartphone is protected by Gorilla Glass 5 on front side and also have aluminium frame on back side. Y9 S smartphone is powered by octa-core high silicon green 710F 12 nanometer processor and packed with 6 GB of RAM. Y9 S on the back has triple camera setup that includes 26mm wide 48MP main camera with 1.8 aperture. The second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.4 aperture along with 2MP depth sensor. This smartphone has 16MP motorized pop up camera with 2.2 aperture. It runs on EMUI 9.1 that based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be extended by a micro SD card up to 512 GB. It is powered by 4000 mAh battery with 10 watt of fast battery charging support and also has C type reversible connector. Honor 9X smartphone has 6.59 inches IPS LCD capacity touch screen display with 84.7 screen to body ratio an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It has fingerprint sensor on side of the panel with an image density of 391 ppi. This smartphone has an octa-core high silicon green 8107nm processor and packs with 4, 6 and 8 GB of RAM. Aura 9X on the back has dual camera setup that consists on 48MP main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 16 megapixel motorized pop-up selfie camera with 2.2 aperture. 
It runs on Mi UI 9.1 that based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 64 or 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be extended by a micro SD card up to 512 GB that uses shared SIM slot. It is powered by 4000 mAh battery with 10W of fast battery charging. Nokia 6.2 smartphone has 6.3 inches IPS LCD touch screen display with 82.5 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19 by 9. This smartphone has a rear mounted fingerprint sensor with image density of 400 ppi and also have a protection of Gorilla Glass 3 on front as well as on the back side with plastic frame. This smartphone is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 14nm processor and packed with 3GB and 4GB of RAM. Nokia 6.2 on the back has triple camera setup that include 27mm wide 16MP main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide lens with 2.2 aperture and third one is 5MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front the smartphone has 8MP fixed focus camera for selfies with 2.0 aperture and having a feature of HDR. It runs on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 32, 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 512 GB with dedicated SD card slot. This device is powered by 3500 mAh battery with 10W of fast battery charging support. Realme 3 Pro smartphone has bezel as 6.3 inch Full HD plus IPS LCD capacitor display with 83.7% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. This smartphone has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as the plastic frame body on the back. Realme 3 Pro smartphone is overall fit and finish is quite impressive that provide good grip. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 409 ppi. Realme 3 Pro based on 1.7 to 2.3 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 nm processor and packed with 4GB and 6GB of RAM. Snapdragon 710 is the next generation mobile platform consisting on Qualcomm Adreno 616 GPU. The Adreno 616 GPU is specially designed to allow you to enjoy console like gaming and cinematic movies experience on your smartphone, rendering over 1 billion shades of colors. The Realme 3 Pro smartphone has dual camera setup on the rear that consists of 16 megapixel main shooter with 1.7 aperture and dual pixel PDAF. Realme 3 Pro has now received a new update and it brings a super slow motion video recording at 960 frames per second. This update also brings improved stability and better camera clarity and quality as well. And the second one is 5 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 25 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Oxygen OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi that is upgradable to Android 10 and packed with 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Realme 3 Pro smartphone is powered by 4045 mAh battery with 20W of fast battery charging as well as VWC flash charge. VWC flash charge that defines as a voltage open loop multi step constant current charging. Flash charging system is a rapid charging technology created by Oppo Electronics which is able to charge certain Oppo devices from 0 to 75% just in 30 minutes. Realme 5 Pro smartphone has 6.3 inches IPS LCD capacitor display with 90% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. This smartphone has a protection of Gorilla Glass 3 Plus on front and plastic frame body on the back side of the smartphone. Realme 5 Pro is overall fit and finish is quite impressive that provides good grip. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 409 ppi. Realme 5 Pro smartphone based on 1.7 to 2.3 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 712 10nm processor and packed with 4, 6 and 8 GB of RAM. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 712 mobile platform is built on a 10 nanometer processor and uses a sophisticated multi-core Qualcomm AL engine. <laughs> Comparing to the Snapdragon 710, devices powered by Snapdragon 712 mobile platform are designed to better manage battery usage, auto-adjust settings for picture and understand your voice cues more naturally. The Snapdragon 712 mobile platform also lets you to shoot 4K Ultra HD videos so you can document every moment with less battery drain.
विद अ टेन नैनोमीटर प्रोसेसर आर्किटेक्चर इन्हेंसमेंट यू शैल एक्सपीरियंस टेन परसेंट परफॉर्मेंस अपलिफ्ट अक्रॉस गेमिंग वेब ब्राउजिंग कैमरा एंड मैनी मोर रियल मी फाइव प्रो इज अ कंपनी फर्स्ट स्मार्टफोन डेट हैज क्वार कैमरा सेटअप ऑन द रियर द क्वार कैमरा सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर्टी एट मेगा पिक्सल क्वार बायर सेंसर बाय सोनी आई एम एक्स फाइव एट सिक्स विद वन पॉइंट एट परचर इट्स सेंसर ऑप्टिमाइज फॉर बोथ डे लाइट शूटिंग विद एच डी आर मोड एंड लो लाइट फोटोग्राफी विद रियल मी इज नाइट स्केप मोड द सेम सेंसर वॉज यूज इन द रियल मी एक्स अमंग मैनी अदर कॉम्पीटिंग ऑफर्स फ्राम डिफरेंट मेकर्स द रियल मी फाइव प्रो कैप्चर वीडियोज ओनली विद इट्स मेन कैमरा इट रिकॉर्ड्स वीडियोज अप टू फोर के एट थर्टी फ्रेम पर सेकेंड्स इट ऑल्सो हैज सम एडिशनल फीचर्स लाइक टाइम लैब्स नाइट स्केप स्लो मोशन पेनारोमा एंड अल्ट्रा मैक्रो लाइक द रियल मी थ्री प्रो द फोन हैज स्लो मोशन वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग फीचर विच रिकॉर्ड अल्ट्रा स्लो मोशन वीडियोज इन अप टू नाइन सिक्सटी फ्रेम पर सेकेंड्स सो वी मस्ट से डेट द फोटो क्वालिटी ऑफ द फोन इज जस्ट ब्रिलियंट द सेकेंड वन इज वन नाइनटीन डिग्री एट मेगा पिक्सल अल्ट्रा वाइट सेंसर विद टू पॉइंट टू परचर डेट अपलाइड एटोमेटिक डिस्टोशन कोलेक्शन बैन इट इज नेसेसरी and the third one is 2 megapixel macro camera with 2.4 aperture this lens can focus from as close as 4 cm away so you can get really close to your subject and the fourth one is 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture realme says this camera is not just a depth sensor but it's also used to enhance the contrast of the portraits on the front of the smartphone has 16 megapixel 2.0 aperture selfie camera as the realme x On the software side there are also sort of beautification enhancement options like skin smoothing eye enlargement and face thinning as well It runs Oxygen OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi and that is upgradable to Android 10 and packed with 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot Realme 5 Pro smartphone is powered by 4035 mAh battery with 20 W of fast battery charging as well as VWC flash charge Flash charging system is a rapid charging technology created by Oppo Electronics which is able to charge certain Oppo devices from 0 to 75% just in 30 minutes. Oppo A9 smartphone has 6.5 inches IPS LCD capacitor display with 82.5% screen to body ratio and a spec ratio of 20 by 9. It has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front and encased in a beautiful 3D design for better grip. A9 smartphone is not waterproof but it may sustain a few splashes of water for some instant. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 270 ppi. Oppo A9 smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11nm processor and packed with 4GB and 8GB of RAM. Snapdragon 665 is a mid-range 64-bit ARM LTE system on a chip. designed by Qualcomm and introduced in early 2019 Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 mobile platform provides high intelligent experiences for great mobile gaming brilliant camera performance and take remarkable high quality shots in almost any setting with remarkable quality Oppo A9 smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 48 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 13 mm 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor with 2.3 aperture and 3x optical zoom and third one is 2 megapixel dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture that enables user to focus on the subject close to the camera lens macro mode is commonly used to photographing flowers insects and other small item that you want to close up view of and the fourth one is 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture furthermore the camera software include features such as all portrait mode Panorama Ultra Wide Mode 2.0, Time Lapse, Slow Motion and Pro Mode. The Ultra Wide Mode 2.0 makes use of HDR and multi-frame technology to ensure the device support up to 4K video recording at 30 frames per second and offers for shooting blur-free video even when you are on the move. This feature allows smooth some photography and video shooting experience to the social media users. On the front this smartphone has 26 mm wide 16 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Oxygen 6.1 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packed with 128 GB of inbuilt storage. That can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB. Oppo A9 smartphone is powered by 5000 mAh battery with no fast charging support, but it supports reverse charge. It's not a unique feature by any means, but it's rare in this price range. Galaxy A50 has 6.4 inch Super AMOLED capacitive display with 84.9 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 
It also has in-display fingerprint sensor with an image density of 403 ppi. This smartphone has an octa-core Exynos 961010 nanometer chipset and packed with 4GB and 6GB of RAM. Galaxy A50 on the back has triple camera setup that includes 26mm wide 25MP main shooter with 1.7 aperture and the second one is 13mm and 8MP ultra-wide sensor with 2.2 aperture along with 5MP depth sensor with 2.2 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 25MP fixed focus camera with wide-angle mode. Android 9.0 Pi and Pad 64 and 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 1TB with dedicated SD card slot. Galaxy A50 is powered by 4000mAh battery with 50W fast battery charging support. Realme X2 smartphone has 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with 84.3% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on the back side of the smartphone with aluminum frame body. It has under display optical fingerprint sensor with an image density of 403 ppi. Realme X2 smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G 8nm processor with Adreno 618 GPU and packed with 6GB and 8GB of RAM. Adreno 610 is an upper gaming platform for upper mid-range devices. According to benchmark rating, the Adreno 618 is 14-30% faster than the Adreno 616 in the Snapdragon 710. The performance in the 730G is 15% faster due to higher clock rates. Realme X2 smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 64MP main shooter with 1.8% and 0.8 micron pixel size. Main camera provides a feature of autofocus. Optical image stabilization, 4K video recording as well as slow motion in HD and HDR plus mode. The slow motion camera record video at the rate of 960 frames per second in 720 resolutions. And second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.3 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. And the third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture along with 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 26mm wide 32MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Color OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi which is upgraded to Android 10 and packed with 64, 128 and 256 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Realme X2 smartphone is powered by 4000 mAh battery with 30W fast battery charging as well as VWC flash charge. Galaxy A50s has 6.4 inches Super AMOLED capacitive touch display with 85.1 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9 and also have in display fingerprint sensor. This smartphone has an octa core Exynos 961110 nm chipset and packed with 4GB and 6GB of RAM. Galaxy A50s on the back has triple camera setup that includes 48MP main shooter with 2.0 aperture and the second one is 30mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.2 aperture along with 5MP depth sensor with 2.2 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 32MP fixed focus camera with wide angle mode. It runs Android 9.0 Pi and packs 64 and 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 1TB. Galaxy A50s is powered by 4000mAh battery with 15W fast battery charging support. 